All right, welcome. Now, in the last video, and we learned how to print things to the console or to a pop-up window. But more important is learning how to define variables and how to use variables. And we call that variables allow us to store data and give it a name. For example, if I wanted to store a string variable, once again, a string variable is text, I can define a variable called my name. And so I can go ahead and I can say this is going to be a variable, var, then the name of my variable, and I'm do my name. One thing to get used to is getting used to camel casing. So we always write the first Ward lowercase, and then every other ward, every ward after that, I should say, capitalized. So if I do my name, and then I can say Alex. All right. Now, if I want to create another variable, we'll call, we'll do one with, like, for example, my age. I can say my age is 27. Alrighty. And so when I run the code, nothing happens because I'm not showing it on the screen. And so if I want to display a variable on the screen, the first thing I can do is just do a simple console.log and then put the name of the variable, such as my name. And that's going to be Alex. Now, if I want to, for example, have where it says, hello, Alex, I can either use interpolation or catenation. And so, for example, if I were to put hello, comma, and then I can go ahead and do plus, and then my name, I get hello, Alex. And so adding, this is a okay way to do this. I personally like using interpolation. So what I do is gonna use these, this little symbol, this is here, All right? This is the one that's all at the end of your left side of the keyboard. And now I can do that. I can say hello and then dial sign my name and then dollar sign, the dollar sign symbol again, hello Alex. What's nice about this is that I don't have to do plus and can go back from strings to variable, I can put it all in one thing. So I can say hello my, my name. I see that you are Is old. I don't have to write it as plus this string, plus variable, plus string, plus variable, right? I can all write it in the same thing by using this symbol and then putting in the variables like this. This is how I prefer to do it, but everybody is different. Once again, it is a personal choice. And of course, I can also make a variable, for example, if, if I, what's nice about Python is the new version you can define it as var, you can say let my name equals Alex. But once again, same result. Now, one thing you don't have to do is define it as an int or a float or a string. Python, um, JavaScript knows how to do that. Same with Python. And so, unlike Python though, you do need to put a var or let in front of it to let it know that you're defining a variable. Python allows you just to put my age equals 27. However, in JavaScript, you can't do that. All right, one more thing I want to highlight here is constant variables. So I can define a constant variable by doing this, const, and I can say, I don't know, my city. I'm never gonna move, so that's gonna say constant. I can put Chicago. All right, and now if, if I do this, for example, if I log my city, I can do this. 
Chicago. And what I can do is I can, for example, if I were to log my name, and I could see Alex, but then if I were to try to change my name, since I already defined the variable, I can just do my name. I can change the name here, equals Alex. Oh uh, no, dub, I will we'll say Alexander. I want to be formal this time. And then if I try to do my city, and let's say I move to Boston, all right, and then I try to print my name, and then console.log my city. There's going to be an error here. So in this here, I tried to reassign my variable, my city, to be a different city. However, I define this as constant. I told the program when I first defined my city, this cannot change. This is constant. Do not write this over. And so now when I try to define it again, it says error. So if I get rid of that, once again, I see Chicago, Alex, and then I got Alexander, and then Chicago again. All right, and so that's just a brief introduction into variables.